This following example is also about conservation energy. Consider a rigid pendulum where the pivot is frictionless. There's a pivot right here. It's frictionless and the rod is massless. That's the rod, it's massless. What is the velocity of the mass when it reaches the lowest point? Okay, so this is the initial state. Okay, and it swings back down and the final state looks like this. That's the mass there. That would be L, okay. So let's basically pick what the initial is. Right. Let's pick basically what the y equals zero point is. Let's pick this is y equals zero. So the initial kinetic energy, in this case, I'm releasing from rest as equal to zero. The potential energy, on the other hand, that's going to be equal to m g times basically y one. All right, or y initial. It's more like it. And this is going to be equal to y one. It's going to be zero. So it's going to be m g times zero is zero. So the so total energy is the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. This is going to be 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Okay, so that's, that was informative. All right, so let's look at the final state. All right, so that's the final state. We don't really care how it got there. We just know it gets there, so that's what we care about. And we think it conserves energy throughout. Okay, so the final state is kinetic energy is something I do not know. The potential energy is, on the other hand, so the y-axis assume is basically pointing up this way is the y-axis, so it's getting a negative. It's going to be mgy final maybe, and this is going to be mg times minus l because it's going to be minus l below where the y equals zero point is, has to be. All right, so it's going to be minus mgl. Okay, so the total energy, which is equal to zero, is equal to kinetic energy plus the potential energy. And this can be equal to kinetic energy, something I do not know yet, but I will find out shortly. And the potential energy is just minus mgl. And all this is equal to zero, because the initial energy was equal to zero. Initial total energy, that is. Okay, so that means that I can just basically look at this equation right here. I get the kinetic energy is equal to mgl. Just basically move this to the other side. But what is kinetic energy? That's just one half mv squared. And this is equal to mgl. Lo and behold, the m's cancel out. And so you end up getting v squared is equal to 2gl, or v is equal to the square root of 2gl. All right, very simple, very nice, um, but you will find this useful for other problems that you have to solve later on. Okay, hope that was helpful.